Hi guys, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. If you guys are current subscribers, welcome back. If not, welcome. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying my channel, please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any constructive criticism, you know, feel free to leave it down in your comments down below. If you guys are on Instagram, make sure to follow me at Tokyo. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So the title of this vlog is Island Hopping in Okinawa. Now, as some of you may know or may not know, Okinawa has many off-coast islands that you can venture into. Uh, I'm not sure how many islands, but I know there are many. Most of these off-coast islands are accessible through flight. Now, those islands that you can uh, book a flight to, ideally, you would want to stay there a day or two. I would think two to three days, actually, um, to really get your to really get the full experience of that island. So because I was a little bit short on time, my challenge was to visit three different islands in one day, which I did accomplish. And now I'm gonna show you how to accomplish the same thing. So without further ado, let me show you guys how to do it. So off of Okinawa's main coast is a group of islands called Kerama Islands. Within the Kerama Islands, I traveled to three islands, which include Zamami Island, Aka Island, and Geruma Island. Here are three really important tips 24 hours before your departure day. Tip number one, make your reservation at least 24 hours before you want to leave. The reason is tickets sell out quickly and you may not get your ticket. Tip number two, be sure to arrive at least 45 minutes prior from the ferry departure time. The reason being is it can be very crowded, you may get lost, and you need time to fill out some forms. Tip number three, bring plenty of cash. There is only one ATM on Aka Island and one ATM on Zamami Island, and chances are that ATM might be closed. From Naha Port, you should arrive to Aka Island. As soon as you get to Aka Island, it's important. You need to buy your ferry ticket to Zamami Island. After that, you're free to explore. We rented a bike and biked the short distance to Geruma Island. Take me away to Neverland What colors fade my disbelief And make me forget my memories Rent a car you can't afford Put on the people after a quick visit to Geruma, we biked our way back to Aka Island's number one beach, Nishihama Beach. Okay, so we just got back to our bikes and there's been a robbery. What happened, our babe? plastic bag was stolen. They stole our plastic bag with our shoes in it, but they left our shoes. <laughs> That's so rare for someone to steal anything in Japan. No, maybe, maybe besides. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> Around 2.30 p.m., we were on our way to Zamami Island. Stay in the daydream, chase the thrill. Again, as soon as you arrive, you need to purchase your ticket back to the Naha Tomari port. There is no way to buy these tickets in advance. After we bought our return tickets, we found another bike rental place and we were on our way. First stop, Furuzamami Beach. Here's a bonus tip bring swimming shoes. These shells hurt and they are everywhere. Like a, like a. 